Hey, what's up? What's up, Jojo in the morning? I'm going to stay on this same vein all week about power in the Holy Ghost and authority. I'm going to give you two scriptures today out of Isaiah because this is a powerful book in the Bible. I hope you are ready. I just want you to know that a lot of people go through warfare and and then they'll like message me and they'll be like, oh, Joe, man, hey, man, I'm going through like extreme warfare right now. Things are things are, are tough, man. It's just a rough season. It's just a, a rough time going on in my life. And a lot of times you got to understand this. Sometimes you personally are going through tests, trials, tribulations, situations, circumstances. But sometimes it's globally. There's something going on globally. Sometimes there's something going on in your nation. Sometimes it may be just in your family or the place that you work. So not all warfare is just singling you out, okay? None of us are that important. <laughs> so I tell people a lot of times, like I had this, this guy called the other day and he just said, man, he was just like distraught. And I said, bro, it's noon. You're the fifth person I've talked to today going through the same thing. And you are from all parts of the nation, okay? Understand, we're in a huge reset right now. But we're in a reset in the world. But what you got to do is make sure you are positioned in the reset. Let's get into the word. Isaiah 40 Verse 30, even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. If you wait on the Lord in this season, you will renew your strength and be set by God for the next season. Ooh, yeah, come on up in here with that. Yeah, some of you, this word is for you. God is restoring you, renewing you for the next season of your life. And then it says, and they shall mount up like wings, like eagles. Eagles fly above everything. They see at a higher degree. You need to see this situation at a higher degree. And it says, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Right now in this season, friends, I'm telling you, you are going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Say that out loud. I am going to be okay because Jesus and Jojo said so. It's going to be good. All right. God's renewing you, restoring you. And if you wait on the Lord and you do not move in your own power, but you wait and move in the authority of God, everything's going to work out good. Isaiah 41, eh, let's start on verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you. Okay, let's read those last four words. I will strengthen you. When somebody says, I will, that is a promise. God is saying to you that if you will wait on him, he will restore you, renew you, and he will strengthen you. He goes on to say, yes, I will help you and I will uphold you with my mighty righteous right hand. First scripture I read, wait on the Lord. Then the next scripture I read, he's going to strengthen you. And his hands are going to be upon you. And you are going to be okay. And you are going to do great exploits for the Lord. Okay? I remember over the past three months, I've had a prophetic vision or dream probably four or five times of the same thing. And it was like a fog. And as the fog started to lift and blow back, there were people standing at the forefront of the fog. And the Lord said, those that do not give up in this season, they will be on the forefront of what I'm doing. You got to understand there's so many parts of society 
and ministries and businesses and all types of industries. God is looking for leaders who will stand in the tough times. They will stand for what he's doing and what he's saying. They will be found faithful and they will be the leaders in whatever God has put them in. Make sure you are properly aligned with the Holy Spirit in this day, hour, and season, my friends. It is a powerful, powerful time to be moving in the Holy Spirit. It's almost like God is, is like a refining fire right now. The Lord is refining people. He's renewing, restoring, rejuvenating realigning people with relationships and different things. Um, there's a lot of people will be changing occupations, changing ministries, businesses, changing some things about their life because God has a powerful plan for you and for the nations of the world. Make sure you are aligned with God properly to move forward in this. Those that wait on the Lord, he will renew your strength. He will strengthen you. He will uphold you with his righteous, mighty right hand. And he will set you on the path that he has for you. And you are going to move forward and do great exploits for the Lord. Some of you need to dream again. Some of you need to hope again. Some of you need to, to make a plan for, you, for, for the future, for what God has for you. He's so good and he's so mighty and he's so powerful. Now, I want to pray for you. Go to the website, jojodawson.net. Go to the contact button. There's a place for prayer requests. Send me a prayer request. Don't write me a book. Write me a paragraph. And I'm going I'm to read it. I'm going to pray for you, okay? I love you guys, and I hope this helped you today.